Hey, hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? AZD here with you. And in this video, we're going to talk about what's going on in the banking system, the banking industry. You know, over the past week, we had a lot of banks within the U.S. You know, we had Signature Bank, we had SVB Bank um, having issues, shutting down people trying to get their money out. So in this video, we're going to talk about some of that stuff and what's going on also in Switzerland with uh Credit Suisse, one of the biggest bank over there, them sh they shutting down, they are going through problems. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ainsley D. Welcome to this channel. Before you continue, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Because in this video, we're going to talk about the banking system and what's going on with the banking system and how we can prepare for the aftermath of what's going on in the banking system. So the end of banks, is it the end of banks or is just the end of some banks? And we got these big banks and the government coming in, stepping in, taking over. We said in the United States, we had a few banks that go down. But let's talk about recently what's going on in Switzerland with Credit Suisse. Now, Credit Suisse is one of the largest banks in Switzerland. And you know how those Swiss accounts go. You know, a lot of people from a lot of other countries like to go to Switzerland and like to put their money over there. The money was doing what they do. And people was happy with that. But now... I guess some scandals and all type of things was going on with Credit Suisse. You know, do your own DD, do your own diligent research on what was going on with the Swiss bank account. I'm not going to go into too much details. As you know, and many are saying, the Credit Suisse um, right now, it's in big trouble. They're shutting down, but they might be brought out by UBS Bank, which is the first, which is one of the largest bank. Actually, um, UBS is like the largest and then come um, Credit Suisse. But, you know, then you got the government bank that's over all of that. But So this is looking like it's going to be more of a government back issue. So we got the, the government of Switzerland is going to be back behind this one in order to help out Credit Suisse. Because, like I said, Credit Suisse is one of the biggest banks, was the second largest bank over there in Switzerland. And Credit Suisse was sinking. They had about $8 billion in value. And I think... Um, like uh, another two billion within um, within assets or something like that, but, but their valuation, the value of Credit Suisse at the time that this all was going through with the problems was about eight billion dollars. Now check this out: UBS, which is the second largest bank, is offering two billion dollars in order to help them out. So UBS being one of the biggest banks over there, they're stepping up and they're going to be offering, you know, to take over the Credit Suisse bank account and help people out. Since over the last few months with Credit Suisse facing some of the issues and problems that they have, um, a lot of people have been recognized that UBS banks over the past months, their stock has been going up very good, very rapidly and at a good pace. So Credit Suisse, because they was messing up with a lot of bank accounts and mismanagement of money and also scandals, a lot of their money wasn't flowing right. And they was just facing a, a real bad downfall, which why they have the issue what they have right now. Even with facing all this problem though, Credit Suisse still have customers and they still have customers depositing money into their system. They have still about like $1.5 trillion in money management as well as um like a lot of assets like that 1.5 trillion that's probably like three times two or three times the size of um silicon valley bank and you know silicon valley bank what they issue it it caused a big turmoil that weekend a couple weekends ago but um switzerland didn't want an international bank to come in and help out credit Suisse, and you know it's politics and at the same time the the swiss accounts you know, the Swiss accounts, how they are. We have heard words, oh, you know, big ball is you put your money into a Swiss account. They do what they do over there. It's protected. So it's big money over there within these accounts. So the government don't want it to to look a certain way or make the, the financial system or the banking system over there look a certain way because they have a lot of people that trust in their banking system. So the Swiss government decides that, you know, let's talk to UBS. Let's get in talks with UBS to come up with some kind of suggestion because it could have been a few things that could have happened. So different things could have happened. It could um, Credit Suisse could have failed, could have failed as a bank, what they call it, um, insolvent or something like that. Something like they 
basically don't have enough money to cover their cash for deposits because they put all a lot of their money into investments into bonds into uh maybe treasury accounts and things like that so if the customers want their money they are able to do it so they could have just left them like that have people drawing out as much money as possible and they just be hit they could have fought which wouldn't be a good look on the switzerland uh, bank industry, the bank accounts over there. Also, the co the government could have got really involved, like big time bailout. But at the same time, you know, a lot of politics would be going on, not really trusting all of that. In addition to, um, I believe there was an article saying that um, people don't want, you know, the government all into their business, especially like we said, those those accounts over there, those those lovely Swiss, Swiss accounts that's over there, they don't want the government all in the business. So I guess they got a mediation between the two, you know, the government was able to talk to UBS, you know, work out some kind of deal. And it was able to get another Swiss bank buyer to go in and help out the credit Swiss bank. So UBS maybe was bribed or whichever way they was, you know, it was definitely was, um, a good deal for UBS because they're offering two billion. Was it two billion or something like that, or is it two trillion? Yeah, let me double check. Double check. I'm gonna double check, or or you can um fact check me on that. So let's say it was just um eight billion worth, and UBS offered two billion. In addition to that, now, um UBS also will be getting some help from the Swiss government because this will help out the Switzerland bank industry by having another Swiss bank come in and helping out to help out with uh, Credit Suisse. So the Swiss National Bank, now the big bank over there, will also offer a hundred, mm, I think it's a hundred billion or hundred million dollar liquid line. So basically to help out, um, maybe if some of the customers over there want to withdraw, they have enough liquid line that will be supported of that, that can have the people able to withdraw out their money without no issues. So this right here will also going to affect the US. And also let's talk about the US bank and what's going on in the US bank industry. You know, we had Silvergate, we have um, Silvergate, Silicon Valley Bank, Signature, a lot of S's like, what's going on with these banks with S's? And also First Republic. Now Silvergate, Silicon Valley Bank and Signature, they all had their failing issues around the same week. First Republic came a little bit, a few days after that. What's happening now, though, is um, a lot of the flow of money from those banks that was failing, Silvergate, Silicon Valley Bank, SVB, and Signature, a lot of those money flowed into the big bank. And what the big banks did was basically took their money that was flowing into their system and help out First Republic, you know, kind of help First Republic to get some float. So the big banks is putting money into First Republic. Most of the money, like we said, is coming from the smaller banks that was failing. Those money, cash flows, deposit, everything was going into the uh, big banks and the big banks took some of those depository money out and put it into First Republic. So First Republic Bank now is, you know, they kind of afloat. In addition to that, we also had the Fed, um, the Federal Reserve Bank, the Treasury, the FDIC basically teamed up to help out those smaller, um, no, not smaller, but those mid-sized banks, Darrell Phelan, you know, Silvergate, SVB, Signature Bank, and all those other banks that fall onto that. They also worked out a plan and a program in order to help out those banks. So it's not exactly like a bailout from the government. Let's see. Um, so let's go over some key facts from a report from Forbes in regards to this. So all deposits in non-defunct Silicon Valley and Signature Banks will be fully recouped within using the taxpayer without using taxpayer money. So the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC, announced Sunday that they will be helping out some of these accounts along with the Department of Treasury and the Federal Reserve Bank. Also, the banks that are low on cash or holding too many securities like treasury bonds, which have tanked in the value following interest rate hikes from the Fed. So, man, it's, 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 it's a lot going on and it's, it's kind of hard to, in, to make sense of it. So basically you have these banks, um, everything was good. You know, you have what we call 
quantitative easing, you know, the money flow was there. They was printing money, you know, stimulus and all that stuff. And what these banks was doing was taking these money, even people depositing money and they would go out and basically like open other accounts, investment accounts and invest in stuff like treasury bonds. And this is a wide variety of things, especially I believe was treasury bonds, um, treasury bonds and securities like treasury bonds, such as that. But what happened now is the Fed starts to raise interest rate heights and these banks do business with one another. So they're borrowing money from one another, interest rate hikes in addition to having people depository, also having, um, instead of having a lot of the money liquid into cash, they were having into treasury bonds, which these treasury bonds were supposed to be return a certain yield, but they stopped returning these certain yields because of, you know, the interest rate hike. So I'm not going to get too much in deep in it. You can do all your own diligence. You can even read this report right here from Forbes magazine. Um, just a wide variety of articles that you can check out. So check this out. So, so like treasury bonds, which have tanked in the value following interest rates high from the Fed. So they buy these treasury bonds from the Fed then the Fed raised these interest rate heights. They can't really afford it anymore. The The value is not what it's supposed to be. Um, the Fed requires back a certain amount of money. Some banks require back a certain amount of money. You can't keep up. So some of these banks start to tank. Now what's going on now is the federal government, along with the Treasury Department and the FDIC has created this program, Bank Term Funded Program, along with the Fed, which will help out these banks with cash flow, but it's only a one-year term. So this new loan program allows banks to temporarily exchange their treasury bonds and other securities, kind of at a loss, with the Fed for their full value in cash, as opposed to their vastly diminishing market value. The Fed will hold the securities as collateral and release them back when the bank's after and release them back to the banks after it pays the bank its loan backs and they have only a year to do that so if they can't pay it back then they'll i guess they'll hold on to the treasury loans as well as um i guess they'll have to find some kind of way to operate maybe another bank will come in and bail them out or we don't want the bailing to happen because bailing is basically using the customers deposits to bail out the banks and we really don't want that to happen so um president biden and hedge fund investor bill ackman defend the measures monday saying that they protect the economy from further bank running out of credit freezes so you know a lot of banks out there if they feel like people was withdrawing their money and they have money within the treasury bonds that they don't have enough liquid cash to have people withdraw then this should help them out by going to this program, which is the bank term funded program. They could go to the bank term funded program, buy a one year loan from them and be able to help out their business. So I'm not gonna go too much deep into that. This is some things that's going on. I'll probably do another video in regards to this article from Forbes because it has a lot of key details in it. And also talk about um, the Treasury Secretary, Janet Leland, um, is kind of distance from this new policy from bank bailout in the great financial crisis in 2008, where ACMA says taxpayer dollars were risked to have, where ACMA says taxpayer dollars were risked to save banks and made risky financial decisions. So it's not like how it was in 2008. This is like a different kind of program that's set up. So not gonna go too much in details with that. Just ladies and gentlemen, be aware of the banking system and how the banks are operating. Um, if you have over $250,000 in one bank account, you wanna try to probably allocate that fund to different banks, to different assets or um, different investments. So just gotta be careful. A lot of things going on. Like I said before, the World Economic Forum, they had topics on this when they had their meeting 
the FOMC will be talking more about this. So it's just going to be a wide variety of things that's going to be going on. And we have to be aware of it, have to pay attention, and we have to be on top of things. So once again, it's Ainsley D. Hope you got some value out of this. Please leave any comments within the comments if you have any value, if you have any opinion, if you have any suggestions or what we should do within these times that's going forward. Let me know, and I'll talk to you later. Continue to be great, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.